One year ago, I thought you needed big, expensive boards to build serious electronics projects. Then I discovered M5 Stacks ecosystem and everything changed. Today, I'm unboxing three units and two controllers that prove sometimes the smallest packages deliver the biggest impact. Trust me, you're going to want to see this. Let's start with the RGB LED unit. Simple packaging for a straightforward but powerful unit. Opening it up, we get the RGB unit itself and a Grove cable. This features three programmable SK6812 LEDs that you can daisy chain together for larger displays. Each LED is individually addressable, so you can create any color combination you want. The unit is 32 into 24 into 8 mm and weighs just 4 grams. Perfect for status indicators, mood lighting, or educational projects. Those LEGO compatible holes make mounting super easy, and it works great with both Arduino and UIFlow programming platforms. Next up is the PIR motion sensor. Simple packaging for a simple but effective unit. Inside we get the PIR sensor unit and a Grove cable. This uses the AS312 sensor and can detect human movement up to 5 meters away with a 100 degree sensing range. What's great is it's a passive sensor. It detects infrared radiation from moving objects. There's a 2 second delay time built in to prevent false triggers. You can see those two LEGO mounting holes for easy installation. At 32 into 24 into 12 mm and only 5 grams, it's perfect for security systems and automatic lighting projects. Now for something really cool, the unit Cam S3. This compact camera unit is based on ESP32-S3 with Wi-Fi cloud image transmission. Look at this. We get the main unit with that 2 megapixel OV2640 camera, a Grove to USB-C adapter, some breadboard wires, the HY2.0 Grove cable, and even a Lego adapter. The camera has a 66.5 degree field of view and can capture up to 1600 into 1200 resolution. There's a built-in micro SD slot for storage and a PDM microphone for audio recording. At 40 into 24 into 11 mm, it's still incredibly compact with 8 MB PSRAM and 16 MB flash. Perfect for remote monitoring and time-lapse photography. Moving on to the Atom Matrix. Opening up this compact package, Wow, look at this tiny board. It's literally only 24 into 24 millimeter. Smaller than a postage stamp. You can immediately see that gorgeous 5 into 5 RGB LED matrix on the front with 25 individually addressable LEDs. There's the programmable button right underneath and here's our Type-C connector for programming. The ESP32 Pico D4 chip is packed with 4 MB flash and built-in Wi-Fi. At just 3 grams, this little powerhouse has a built-in IMU sensor and infrared LED. Perfect for wearables and IoT projects. Finally, we have the Atom S3R, the newer model with the 0.85 inch screen. Wow, what an upgrade. Same compact 24 into 24 mm footprint, but now we've got this beautiful color IPS display. The ESP32-S3 chip brings us 8 MB flash and 8 MB PSRAM. That's serious memory for such a tiny device. I can see the programmable button below the screen. And check this out, it's got both a 6-axis BMI 270 sensor and a 3-axis BMM 150 geomagnetic sensor. 
That's nine axis motion sensing in this tiny package. The 3D antenna has been improved too for better Wi-Fi performance. So there you have it, five incredible M5 stack units in order. Starting with the simple but effective RGB unit for visual feedback, the PIR sensor for motion detection, the powerful CAM S3 for wireless camera projects, the versatile Atom Matrix with its LED matrix display, and finally the advanced Atom S3R with that gorgeous screen upgrade. Each one builds up in complexity and capability, and the Grove Connector system makes them all work together seamlessly in your projects. Speaking of which, in our next video, I'll be combining some of these units to build a complete project. You won't want to miss that. If you enjoyed this unboxing, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIY electronics and IoT projects, and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one where we put these units to work.